Hey friend, I'm Michael McCurry and welcome to The Huddle. We're going to read one verse of scripture and we're going to present a very short thought with a question. Mark chapter number 4 and verse number 34. The Bible says this, But without a parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. You know, when I was a younger man, I always wanted to know more than I should have. I always wanted to be a part of the adults' conversation. I always wanted to hang out and was told and shoot off to bed. And I want to stick around. I want to hear what's being talked about. I had the opportunity. Our family welcomed a lot of preachers into our home. And they'd have very interesting conversations with my parents. I always wanted to be around when that was going on. I wanted that expounding. I wanted to hear the deeper stuff. Well, that may be true for you or not, but I will say, if you had the opportunity to get a little deeper, to get a little extra with Jesus, I would guess that you would choose that. If he were walking among us and he talked to the crowds, he would be thronged. He would be mobbed. Imagine here in Mark chapter number four, he gives the parable of the sower, the parable of the mustard seed, all these things, but then the crowds dissipate. They go away. His disciples hang out. And the Bible says that he expounded all things to his disciples. They got to hear the rest of the story. My question for you is, do you realize that he, Christ, our Lord, God, he will always have time for those that want his time? He will always be present for those that want his presence. I'm not talking about a 90-foot Jesus or some hooky spooky thing. I'm not talking about too many sardines on your pizza. I'm talking about the fact that if you want to meet with Jesus, what's that song say? He's as close as the mention of his name. Well, in the huddle, you're not supposed to preach. And so I ask you this question. How is your time with God? If we were to add up all the minutes you've spent in prayer, would we get past 10 for the last week? I'm not even counting you praying for your food. I hope you do that as well and thank God for what he's given you. But in all seriousness, he'll have time for you if you have time for him. So, let's do a short self-evaluation. Last question. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is your relationship with God? How is your devotional time? But here's the kicker. You're not allowed to use the number 7. little trick interviewers use every once in a while. You've got to pick higher or lower. Maybe you'd be honest and you'd say it was a 3. Maybe you know your devotional time is anemic at best. Well, thank you for your honesty. We can improve that, can't we? But there's probably a lot of you that would say, it's okay, I'm doing all right. Maybe you'd pick that number seven. Uh, you can't pick it. See, here's the thing. If you pick a six, you're basically average. Who wants to be average? But if you can honestly say, yeah, I'm an eight, I'm a nine, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing all right. Praise the Lord. But you can always do better, can't you? How is your time with God? I want to thank you for listening to The Huddle today. Join us tomorrow as we conclude the week. God bless.